Chimera's Revenge, Chimera Secrets Book 4, written by Yves Langlais, narrated by Troy Duran. Prologue Freak, look at him twitching. Is he even allowed to be at school with us normal kids? The evil taunts had long since lost their ability to hurt. Adrian knew what the other children saw when they looked at him. Saw it himself every day in the mirror. He wished it was different, but the motor neuron disease attacking his body had no remorse. The degeneration of the nerves that controlled his muscles made it impossible at times to do the simplest tasks. Yet, in the ultimate cruelty, motor neuron disease, MND, left his mind intact so that he could remember what it used to be like before the tremor started. Then the first paralyzing time a limb didn't work as expected. He's a load his mother should have swallowed, snickered another bully. The world was a cruel place, and Benedict, star of the football team, led the way when it came to bullying, especially those he considered inferior. A word Adrian was pretty sure Benedict couldn't spell. Leave him alone, the dulcet voice of an angel came to his rescue. Are you seriously protecting him? Benedict drawled with a roll of his eyes. Look at him. He's a fucking pussy. He can't even defend himself. Exactly, snapped a pert female voice. I can't believe you're bullying him. Pick on someone who can at least fight back. A rescue with an insult. Probably not intentional, but it still had the ability to sting. I'd defend myself if I could. But Benedict wasn't the type to be swayed by words. You got the hots for the freak, Jane? Of course not. He could hear the shock in the retort. Adrian couldn't blame her for the disgust. His own mother couldn't handle his situation. She dumped him the moment he got inconvenient. Now he got government-mandated care, which didn't amount to much. Lucky for him, he had foster parents who actually gave a damn about his well-being. I wonder if he gets boners. Benedict strode over with that rolling hip lankiness that the athletic all possessed. Hey, freak. Does your dick still work? The question might have cowed someone else. However, Adrian had been living inside imaginary worlds for a long time now. He'd read, listened, and watched so much that little shocked him. Which was why he could say, Suck it and find out. You motherfucker! Sample complete. Ready to continue?